Hi, this is James Gardner, the Senior Tech Geek, and today I've got a special little preview of the amazing Barco 60L projector. This is a 6P, 6 primary laser projector, and from all accounts, it's really um, doing very well in the marketplace. Known to have at least 50 plus sales, from what I've heard, it's it's really outstripping any of the competition in its in its range. Now, I wanted to talk about this because uh, about a year ago at CinemaCon, I sort of um, predicted that this projector looked looked like the one to beat and it's very much has been the case and so uh, in this video I have a quick look inside and some of the reasons why Barco has done such a good job with this unit um, as you can see here this is basically the side off it just have a quick peek um, where you've got uh, as you expect Barco very good with their engineering very modular with their six different um, laser modules going in here. Coming into a combiner here, you got old, you got old integrator rod right, and your traditional 4K light engine. It's um, you know it's nothing super science, but it's good to see like one of the first implementations of a six primary engine and have a little peek of how it sort of all works with the lasers built into this unit here. It's one of the main reasons this is such an efficient projector is because it is not using the fiber optics as a lot of other projectors use which gives you a good 20% hit in your performance when you're using the fiber optics to bring the light into the into the into the uh, projector. It's one of the reasons why it's you know considered the the brightest well probably the brightest in the world at, at last look um, so yeah they've done an amazing job with this now one of the reasons why apart from the, their good engineering that it has done so well is that uh, unlike some of the competitors it's a single head 6p projector so there's only one light engine it's all going through the one lens now this is a massive uh, advantage over having a dual head for example um, aligning the two heads for doing just 2d presentations is next to impossible and a lot of the people with the dual heads pr pretty much only go with a three-piece single head presentation because it's just so difficult when you're talking about these very bright projectors with a very long throws you know a nano you know a, a micron movement in something here can actually m be quite a big you know it, it, the magnification of the movement here onto the screen is significant so keeping those things all aligned is extremely difficult and problematic and as such uh, so, you know, one of the main reasons I predicted this is probably be the projector to, to beat because that problem is such a big problem. And so, yes, single head um, Barco projector, uh, doing very good. Um, it's also got their um, REC 2020 capabilities. So um, it's probably, you know, if you're talking about REC 2020, which is the new uh, color space that a lot of people are talking about, this unit would give you the best representation of REC 2020 in the world today. So that's another interesting fact about this projector. Um, uh, it's actually just playing with it now, having a quick look at it, how it all works with the cooling systems that you've seen in my other videos, there'll be cooling systems over there and how it, uh, getting the background and doing a little bit of training on the internals of the unit. It's all been very interesting and, and uh, shows you exactly how um, Barco has done an, an, an amazing job at um, engineering this unit. But yes, um, I just wanted to quickly show you that. So um, obviously there'll be some many more interesting things coming at CinemaCon, not very far down the road. Um, obviously this will be there, but there's also the, the next range of the, um, the phosphor laser projectors for retrofitting in their current range, which I know a lot of you will be interested in uh, who are actually larger cinema chains. So that'll be, I'll try and cover that at CinemaCon this year. I'm going again this year and also trying to cover NAB. Um, so that's James Gardner, the Cine Tech Geek. Uh, I'm at the uh, Barco Training Room, the Barco Training Room in Melbourne, Australia. Bye for now.